Hello everyone, welcome to ET Studios, and today we are having a look at all the recent submissions on the workshop, and I'm going to probably try and turn this into a series. It won't be a weekly series, because usually we don't receive that many workshop submissions that last, you know, a short enough time to be replaced in a week, but I will try and do this relatively often, and... Uh, I'll just have some new features on the workshop that you may not have seen yet and of contemplating which ones to download. Obviously, you see them on the workshop front page, but I'm just going to review them all and see which ones are worth you getting. So, um, this week I haven't included two or three of the ones that are there because they've been there for like two weeks, like the boat parts for the new water mod, which I have in a card above, or the, uh, the other one is the Valkyrie, I think, which is another... Workshop creation, which I think requires ELC, and I don't have that specific one either, so I wasn't going to have a look at it. But anyway, we have these. Um, this is recorded a few days in advance for upload, so if something new has come out in between now and when this video goes up, which is probably about two days' time, uh, sorry, I'll probably get to it next time. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to record these in... A little bit of advance, but you can decide whether you want these if you uh, haven't seen them yet. So let's have a look. We have this little thing. I'm going to grab the workshop page for it so I can tell you what the uh, author said about it. And uh, we'll do it. So this is called the Silkworm. Uh, it's a cargo lifter, and uh, it's heavily inspired by the Amos cargo transport. It's four medium cargo containers and it can take them up to low Earth orbit, or obviously a bit further because this game is not particularly realistic when it comes to orbits. It works much better shuttling things back to the Earth's surface because I think it probably struggles a bit to get into orbit or into space because heavy. Recommends using one of the cargo containers uh, topped with a bit of ice to extend the ship's range. So that's not a bad idea if you want to use some of your cargo space for extra fuel. That's not a bad idea because it relies on hydrogen and atmospheric thrusters, but not like literally like six of these. No, there we go. It's come up with eight. Oh, there's more. Okay, whatever. Um, there's there's not too many atmospheric thrusters, but there's quite a few of uh, the hydrogen ones at the back here. So you could probably use with a bit more uh, or do with a bit more ice in the cargo containers. But yeah, it looks like a pretty nice ship. It's got a decent uh, color scheme. I actually really like the uh, the gradient change of the colours, it actually looks really good, and I think that must have taken quite a while to do, um, to make it look quite that good. And yeah, I think it's a pretty cool little ship, so if you want to give that a download, it's got these little spotlights at the front on hinges and rotors, so you can rotate the spotlights, and it flies pretty well. I gave it a quick try earlier, so let's, uh, oh, let's teleport my character. Um, oh, I've, uh, sent off the second of the uh, things, um, which is a flare. So we have a flare gun, and I'll show you that in a second. But yes, this thing flies quite nicely, it's quite fast. And uh, there is our fourth mod, which is gigantic, and for a pretty well modeled actually, we'll give it a quick flyby. Um, this is the, uh, I think it's the, just double checking, but it's the BFG 1000 from uh, that Doom Eternal. Um, yeah, it's a BFG 1000 from Doom Eternal, and it's absolutely gigantic. So uh, I'm, I'm assuming it fires large amounts of death. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. We'll give that a quick test fire in a minute. Uh, but yes, this thing flies pretty well. Let's see how well it does upside down. Doing okay for a barrel roll. And yeah, we've got quite a lot of like secondary power systems, so it would be quite difficult to disable this in a fight. We've got a little order detector back there, we've got a antenna, so looking pretty cool. Let's give this a land. In fact, let's give it a crash to test its uh, ability to survive a fall. That was a pretty nice crash. Nothing too serious, looks like. Uh, you wouldn't be going back to space because we killed the hydrogen tanks, and... Um, well, it made a nice little crater, it crashes well, so that's cool. Uh, and it's still got all of its, uh, it's still got its name, so you can tell it that that was the thing that crashed. Anyway, um, next we have this thing, which is quite a cool little speeder. Um, 
It doesn't have like hover engines or anything because it's all vanilla. And everything here today that is a ship is vanilla. And obviously the other two are mods because they're mods. Um, but yeah, so this is quite a cool little one. Um, and it's quite fast, quite maneuverable. It got those little pistons to hold the front forward, which looks quite interesting. And just a little bit of a different uh, way of doing things. Let's see, what have we got in here? We've got an ore detector, we've got um, the pistons. Let's retract the pistons and see what happens. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a, a weird connection thing. Ah, oh, the connection to the engines. That looks quite cool, actually. That's like a... It kind of looks like they're trying to bring intake in from the front and put it all the way back to the back. That's that's quite cool. I like that uh, idea quite a lot. It looks quite good. Um, yeah, th this hang is nothing special. I just put it there so I can uh, do something. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't break it. Oh, well, I did, but only slightly. And it's on fire, so that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll just park it here. Next we have the uh, flare gun, which is modelled just like a normal gun, but you fire it and it fires a flare. The flare sits in the sky quite high up, and I actually have quite a few things. Um, it's interesting the colour changes when I'm in this camera. Oh, it does actually change. Okay, so that's the light from the flare, I think, because, well, it's red. Um, but yeah, the flare goes really high, it looks pretty cool. Uh, we're going to change this to nighttime quickly because flares are more useful at night. There we go. That's very bright. And if you wanted some light at night, this is definitely the way to go. So you fire a flare up there and you've got plenty of light around you. See. So I like the flare idea and it also obviously lets people see it from quite a distance. There we go. So if you're sitting on the next hill over, you're definitely going to notice that someone's fired a flare. And then you can go and track down where they are. And yeah, I think the flare is quite cool. Very bright. Stays there for quite a while. I fired some earlier that have disappeared, so not too long for you, not more than like five, ten minutes. And yeah, I think that looks quite cool. So let's get this massive, gigantic thing um, fired up and see how it does. Okay, so after a little bit of work, um, when you're placing the gigantic gun, you have to actually give it a space large enough for it to actually be placed, like the entirety of the area has to be flat surface, of course, and just has to be there for it to be placed. It needs a lot of power and requires the weapon core um, mod, which of course is good, but um, obviously it's another thing you need to download. I'm assuming you probably already use weapon core if you're getting something like this. If you haven't heard of weapon core, then I highly recommend checking it out, it's quite cool. Okay, so we're going to fire this thing. Uh, what we're firing at is just this refuel ship that I reviewed like ages ago. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens. There is a little bit of a delay after you fire. And... Um... There we go. Okay, a little bit of a delay there, more than I was expecting. But yes, um, lots of damage to the front of the ship. So yep, that's that's dead now. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, it's cool. We'll fire again, depending on the reload time. I know it's quite long, but we'll see. Um, Green ball of death. All right, but yes, it's it's big, it's powerful. It requires the weapon core extension, and yeah, that's the four mods for this week. I hope that nothing comes out in between when this video uh, was recorded and when uh, we do the uh, thing. But there are a couple more mods on the workshop that they've been out for a while, and I assume if you wanted them, you'd already have them. But yes. Uh, this is this week's episode. If you guys like this, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have a comment or suggestion, please leave it in the comment section below. There's a Discord server below as well if you'd like to join that for community events, etc. And hopefully we'll continue this series and I'll improve it as we go. So thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye.